Hello, hello. Welcome back. It's Arma Bricks as usual. This time I'm doing the review of this alternative build from Brick Artisan. Again, he did a pretty amazing job with this one. And it is an alternative build for Lego City Set. Yes, you understood correctly. Lego City Set, which came uh, last year, if I recall correctly, it is 6 0. 380, the biggest LEGO City set so far. And out of this, you could build this beautiful downtown arcade. So I will go through the building soon, but just want to let you know that I did some modifications to this uh, alternative uh, build, just because I thought that it is needed and I will go through those modifications. And also what I did, I changed a bit uh, the ground for this building. Uh, it was based on the uh, road plates that are coming with that set, but as I was planning to add it on mills plate, I decided to use my regular approach, put it on the mills, uh, tile it properly, and keep the road plates separately so I could uh, have it for for the roads or whatever I will be using. So let's get through first of the exterior look. So what is really good is that we are having uh, the tree right here. Uh, it is quite interesting build. Uh, it is simple, although it fits really well and then this position. So yeah, it's some accent that was needed to be done. In general, uh, we do have uh, three floors. Uh, two of them are quite similar in terms of uh, architecture. Uh, the ground floor is dedicated for the barber shop. So all the arcade stuff is happening on the upper floors. Also, uh, what is really great, uh, the use of the uh, dark orange color uh, together with the white one. Don't mind the Lego truck on the left, I've just built it and I will be definitely placing it in my Lego city. Uh, in terms of the side, what I did I changed some of the bricks to the ones that I had in my inventory just to make it uh, a bit better. Yeah, don't mind the cap right here, it could be easily fixed. Yeah, uh, right here it should have been those uh, big pieces uh, that are uh, see through and with, with some kind of uh, uh, ramps uh, going through it. So I decided that I want to have a cleaner look. So I just uh, picked some masonry bricks and made it happen. Same on this side. Try to make it clean so where you could see the masonry brick. There I've modified it. Uh, also, uh, what I did uh, for these windows, uh, I added uh, one by two brick in trans uh, blue uh, just uh, to have a proper grip on the upper section because uh, in the parts that you get from the original set there are only the pieces uh, the small windshield uh, that were used for the cars and back in the days so I don't think that they are fitting really well also I've changed this bottom section a bit by adding some masonry bricks right here. There were a color uh, swap, it was yellow or dark yellow right here and I swapped to, to make it uh, more consistent and of course I changed the frame of the uh, big window a white one just to keep up with the windows that are here. Of course, if you do not have the parts in your inventory, just skip it and uh, use the parts that you have from your LEGO City set. Yeah, besides that, I think the uh, exterior 
is the same uh, as per uh, Kim's design. What I did a bit differently, instead of using uh, just plates, I've added uh, those uh, kind of um, road style plates that are double the size. I uh, just thought that uh, it would be useful to use them right here. So I just use them instead of regular plates. So anyhow, I think we could go to the interior just beforehand. Uh, I do like really this climbing wall. I, I will show it to you. And yeah, I think it is really good addition. So if we would remove the first section, uh, the roof itself, we could see that it opens up the arcade part, arcade floor. So we do have some uh, games that you could play right here. So two arcade games. There are some record player or just uh, drawer of the records there is that really nice helmet that is incorporated i've also added uh, some uh, fencing right here also for my inventory just to look a bit refined and yeah there is a counter uh, for for the people to check in and that is it. If we would turn around the building, we could open up the section where the climbing activities start. So let's try to remove that part. What I did a bit differently for this build, I've added additional bricks with studs just to hold a bit better the right side of this uh, build. Uh, originally, it would be really flat without connection points. The connection point, points would be right here. But in my opinion, it's not enough. So I added extra bricks uh, with stud on the side just to have a better grip on this one and this uh, climbing wall is, is really nice I think it, it fits really well in the, the uh, building theme and uh, yeah it's always good to have indoor climbing wall that you, the minifigures could come in and enjoy uh, the activity itself so let's remove uh, the floor and we are hitting the main floor for the arcade so what we have here is the dance floor which is totally needed right here we do have other things like uh, some kind of vending machine or something i'm not sure what it is but if you know just write in comments but yeah it's something, of course, related to the arcades. Also, we have the entrance, the climbing wall. So, uh, yeah, it is uh, nice and tidy with some chair. If uh, the, there would be a need to gather some money for this activity. And again, I've added the fencing uh, right here just to add more refinement to the build. So yeah, uh, it is pretty simple, but everything that you would need in the arcade floor. Then let's try to look on to the ground floor. So when removing, be careful because you are removing also uh, the wall itself. And yeah, it comes up like this. And the last one is the barber sh shop and the comic book store so yeah two are combined so either it is you know hair saloon or barber shop doesn't matter but you have two persons that could sit 
and get the haircut done uh, also you could come in right here and buy some comic books there are some counters right here so some greenery and the stairs to the first floor so overall it's it's really nice interior uh, i like the details so what what you could even ask more the tiling is there so i i would wish that it would be for all the floors but it isn't yeah th there is some tiling in the last floor where you, we have a counter but of course there are not enough tiles in this lego city set to accommodate it but anyhow i'm really happy how it turned out to be i specifically bought this lego city set just to rebuild it into this one and I'm, I am I need to say that I'm really happy with the end result and I will be definitely putting this building to my Lego city. Of course, I will need to install lights for it as usually I do. And yeah, next video probably I will show uh, the, uh, the placement of this build and how it's it is uh, going with the construction of the new district so if you haven't watched my video uh, just go and look wha what i'm doing in the lego city because yeah the new district new area was established and i'm really happy to start the build work on that so yeah uh, i think uh, that is it for this time so I will uh, leave the link uh, to instructions in the rubricable uh, in the description part and as always thank you for watching again Kim thank you for creating this awesome build I could never thought that from Lego city set you could build something like this yeah I think yeah the, the parts are, uh, are really good uh, in the set and the outcome is, is really, really great. So if you're looking for another uh, building in your uh, city, try to consider this one if you're a fan of modular buildings. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. A uh, new video will come uh, regularly uh, uh, every week. So see you soon. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. And see you next time. Goodbye.